Hey everyone, Kevin here with Divinely Designed and I have a mixed media photo layout video. I'm going to start with a 12 by 12 piece of pattern paper that I'm covering with some Prima clear gesso and just using my heat gun to uh, dry it off. Uh, I'm using some Prima modeling paste here and a stencil from Delta that has some wings on it. I think the company is called Delta. Um, and I wanted to do this fourth wing, but I didn't want to mess up the other three, so I dried them off first before I used that, the stencil for the fourth wing there. Um, I'm going to come in and start coloring the background paper here with some sprays. I used some Dilutions spray, um, melted chocolate and squeezed orange, and a Heidi Swap spray called Mustard. Um, my overall color scheme is kind of a brown um, with, with some metallics in it. Um, and this is just the backing I'm using for my photos, which is actually a piece of papyrus. Here I'm starting with the sprays and I'm just kind of spraying them on and letting them drip down. I'm adding water to them. And again, trying to stay in that brown, orangey kind of range. I also used a little bit of gold spray here that uh, I mixed up myself actually from some mica powder I have. Uh, the embossed wings, uh, or the... Um, the stenciled wings actually get lost a little bit here so you'll see me come in and sort of clean them up here in a second with just um, some water like on a sponge pen but I'm actually going to um, use some perfect pearls on them in a second so this next pen is the perfect medium pen which is sort of like Versamark it's like a sticky ink and then I'm applying the perfect pearls powder to them and I'm staying in the metallic range here so the bottom wings get covered with copper perfect pearls and the top get covered with a bronze perfect pearls it's hard to see here in the video but they do end up with a nice shimmer to them you can see it in the pictures a little bit later on And then I'm doing some stamping with some chocolate chip ink from Stamping Up and a Hampton Art stamp set that has like moths and bees and butterflies, stuff with wings in it. Cutting up some pattern paper and I'm going to distress the size of them. I started using the Tim Holtz distressor, but then I just decided to sort of tear the edges of them. And then in a second I'll start... Um, using an ink blending tool with some distress inks and I used walnut stain and vintage photo to sort of darken the edges of these pieces of pattern paper and then um, I'll also darken the edges of the the piece of material I'm using to mount the photos to is actually a piece of papyrus that I got from and here it is on the screen right now from a Blick store um, an art store here so just kind of cool gives a lot of texture to it um, and so I'm darkening the edges to kind of give some differentiation from the background kind of just playing with the layout of them and then adhering them down with some Prima um, gel medium some matte gel medium Um, I'm going to add some hemp twine here as well as some gold thread just very loosely in kind of a circle and then adhere it with the gel medium also. Uh, you can't really see the gold thread here. And then finally just adhering those pictures. These are of my mom when she was seven years old uh, to that piece of papyrus. And now I'm using some Tim Holtz washi tape that has uh, like moths on it and one that has just some script. And I'm going to sort of darken them up. I'm using a big brush pen 
Um, I used some sprays to darken them up a little bit. This is actually a piece of wood tape. It's like a wood veneer that has a sticky backing to it. And I also darken that with some sprays and some other elements here just to make it a little bit darker so it stands out there. Again, going back with the washi tape, which I sort of uh, color over with some sprays and other things here just to make it a little bit darker. Uh, this is some B blue fern studio chipboard, which I really like. And these gear pieces I'm actually going to emboss with a Lindy's Stamp Gang Byzantian bronze, uh, which is kind of a nice bronzy copper kind of color. And in a second, I'll slow the video down and hold up one of the pieces so you can just so you can see the color from it. And this is actually the this is the embossing powder itself. Uh, just checking placement here. I'm going to use another chipboard element uh, from Blue Fern, this corner piece, which is called Industrial Corner. And I end up embossing that as well, but I actually use two embossing powders. That same Lindy Stamp Gang one, the bronze, but I also use Ranger Liquid Platinum. Um, and I kind of just give it a two-tone embossing effect. Uh, which I really like how it came out. Um, it looked really good. Um, here's the Ranger powder. And then I'll slow down the video uh, after it's embossed here. And I'll hold it up just to so, so you can see. You can get a sense of that two-tone. It's not real easy to see on the video itself. But um, it did end up with kind of a, a, a platinum and a copper bronzy look to it. So I, I really like the way it came out. Hopefully you can kind of see and get a sense of those two tones of those metallics. And just adhering, starting to um, adhere things down. Now I like to adhere my pattern paper to just a regular piece of 12 by 12 so it gives it some extra strength and prevents the sides from curling. And then I'm going to adhere these other chipboard pieces down with some of that Prima Multi Matte or that Matte Gel Medium. Um, just adhering those. And oh, and then I have a little visitor who comes in. This is my kitty cat Apollo who likes to check out what I'm doing when I'm crafting. So he wanted some attention. And you get to see his little face here real quick. <laughs> And then I'm just going to um, uh, adhere all these things down. The chipboard and the, the photo element, I'm finally going to uh, adhere in the middle there. Again, with more of that gel medium from Prima. These are some wooden um, just letters that I got from um, a craft store. I think I got them from AC Moore. And I'm using more of the Perfect Pearls. Again, that perfect medium, which is like a Versamark, just makes the surface sticky. And then a brush to apply the powder itself. This powder is a gold one. It's a nice gold. It's not real shiny gold. It's more of a soft kind of glow, and it has a little bit of um, almost like red in it. Um, it's a nice warm gold. Just playing with the placement of those letters and then adhering them down with some Tombow, some Tombow glue. And I'm adding some Tim Holtz metal embellishments here. I'm kind of off the screen, but um, some wings and a key that says love. And again, I'm hearing them down with that gel medium. Taking some paper flowers, I'm going to color them with the sprays I used earlier. Again, I'm keeping them kind of in the brown-orange range, but with some metallics, um, you know, with some metallic sheen to them. And then just playing with the placement to finalize them. And that's really it. Um, I hope you like this. Uh, click on that thumbs up if you do. And if you're not subscribed, um, go on the subscribe button. And uh, there's some pictures to follow here with some close-ups. So I hope you like it. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.